Hello YouTube, it's your boy Vintage Sterling Finds. Now, in the past we did cheapest watches on Timu. You guys liked it, so we're gonna do more. Today is gonna be about what you can get with a new Timex. Now, I did cheat a little bit. I got this at a thrift store, but new. You can buy it on Amazon right now for this. I paid this, and I had a coupon, so I think I was into it for like 14 or 15. So without further ado, let's get into the video. If you like the content, please like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment. Expedition, Velcro. So, oh wow, this has never even been off the um, case. I don't know, can I even get that off? Just the way it's, they probably did that for theft. Okay, I will have to cut that. So that's been cut. That just comes off. Let's take... It does have a little ding right there. But honestly, in a new watch, a lot of the times you'll get that. I've seen that anyways. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Then it has to go like this. So as you can see, watch is plastic. Velcro strap. Timex Expedition. Show you guys the size. Yeah, it's about 41 millimeters, the case. Good sized watch. So um, we will change the battery. So change the battery is not too hard. Springberg tool. First one. Second one. Then let's see, I always like to look on the back battery cr2025 okay so we have a battery i always like to have a little tray first thing we're going to do just unscrew these no particular order make sure these are nice and loose Sorry, it's just a little bit awkward doing this under the camera. Then to see like this. I take my tweezers. One, two, three, four. Hit the gasket a little bit. Not a huge deal. So. Unlatch to remove. That's fairly common. That little hook right there. There we go. It's probably yeah, going to be stuck. Ninety nine percent chance is going to be stuck. I just put that in by hand. I don't want to scratch the battery for the most part. Then push that down. Then it says, after battery insertion, short pads to reset. All that is, take the tweezers, press them together, and check our work. Mate, there yeah, we go. Just takes a second. Now, put it back like this make sure the e i'm kind of make sure that's you know the right way like that make sure we get that gasket in there good good let's screw so back. back put all the screws on next thing is going to be the strap make sure that it's um right way i like to put them in like this just to usually start from the top These are always a little bit awkward to put on. Make sure we're right. You can use tweezers. I usually just use my hands. Both are fine. Like that. Like that. Oh, didn't get in. 
that. The hole. There we go. Make sure you're directional still. Pull up a little bit. Now, personally, I'm I'm not a huge fan of the Velcro straps. I much prefer the NATO style or the even the leather that comes with a lot of the older expeditions. I just find the Velcro doesn't last as well. And the, also, I'm a, more of a fan of the analog Timex ones, not so much the digital. More of a personal thing, though. A lot of people prefer digital. And the good thing is Timex makes both. Just push it down. Is it in? Yeah. Make sure it's straight. And let's try this bad boy on. Through the... This, hard to do it on camera. This is tight. There we go. Something like that. Then like that. Now I will say this watch is very, very comfortable. Very light on the wrist. A touch big for my wrist, but still it works great. Um, the plastic can be good or bad. You know, for longevity, you know, metal's better. But for cost, for the price new, I think this is a good value watch. Has a lot of things going for it. Let's see if the Indiglo works. Shouldn't test the Indiglo. Yeah, it works. Yeah, you guys can see. That's good for the night, too. Put the light back on. Now let's look at this bad boy's features. It does come with the whole manual, too, which is kind of cool. Tape it. Oh, there we go. W90. Quite the manual here. Let's open it up. This is like newspaper. Wow, that's thin. Wow. Okay. They were not playing around. Um... Let me guys show you guys some of the features. So let's change the time. It's 11.55. Good, good. Now, let's so 11. Next. Oh, good. It lets me do that. 55. Next. That's fine. Uh, what's the day today? Wednesday. Oh, sorry, Thursday, month, August 1st, 12 hour, yup, it's fine, off chime, done, good, good, set the time, now let's, um, yeah, so the mode, we can do like a chronograph, timer, Alarm one, alarm two, alarm three, that's it. Now start and stop. Oh yeah, that's if you're using the chronograph. Stop again for the chronograph. Now, um, so I just wanna talk about what I like and what I don't like about this watch. I like the price. For $50, I think this is probably about as good of a watch as you can get. Well made, lots of features, reliable, battery lasts a long time. And what they say about Timex is true, keeps licking and t keeps on ticking. You know, I've worked on hundreds of these and most of the time they work. I've seen them abused, taken apart, um, a whole bunch of horrible things. And generally they go back together quite well. Um, I like it's as lightweight because of the plastic. Um straps comfortable the cons like I said it is plastic you know it's not horrible but it's not extremely good also the velcro 
If I were keeping this watch, I find the Velcro is very um, bulky. As you can see, I would put a really nice thin NATO strap on it. Um, so what is the lug width? Lug width is... Oh? Okay, yeah, sorry, it is 12, okay. Um, oh, I see it. Thought it was yeah, AM, so it jumped to Friday. Okay. Well, that's a 20 mm. Okay, wait a sec. So we're back. This is what I was talking about with the NATO strap. I'm sure most of you guys have seen one. But if you just keep the lugs on, you can just put it through. About there. Wrap it around. Some people cut this part off. I kind of like it. I think it looks nice. Wrap it through. And there we go. Then to put it on wrist, nice and easy. I'm left-handed. That's why um, I wear my watches on the right. Just a couple of you guys question that. Let's see, we can go like this. Like this. Put it through the other side then I usually wrap it back like that down and around so it holds that quite well everybody's different that's just kind of what I like then to bring it back there we go it's a lot lighter than this and it's going to last a lot longer because it's not that thick um velcro and over time this is going to wear out from the constant so that's how I would wear this watch if I was going to keep it. Second way I would wear this watch is like this. So this is the way I probably would wear it actually. This is a rubber strap with red stitching. Now I think this looks quite sexy because you have the red and the Indiglo, the red and the Timex matched with the um, rubber strap. I think that just looks great. Makes it look like more of an expensive watch. Also this strap on Timu is like $4. The watch is 50 so for $55 you can get something this cool personally I think the velcro looks cheap it looks dated it looks 90s with the red I think that really modernizes the watch and gives it quite a bit of quality on top of that I do like rubber straps they're quite soft quite comfortable they do tend to trap in sweat and grime a little bit but that's any rubber strap out there will do that. There we go. There we go. Push those out a little bit. And there we go. That feels quite sturdy, quite on the wrist. I think I did it a little bit tight. But see, that's how I would probably wear it. I just love $4 on Timu. That was a good deal for those straps, honestly. So this is my review of the Timex Expedition. Ask me if you should buy it. Definitely yes. You can never go wrong with Timex. They're well made. Keeps licking and tick, keeps on ticking. If it's a Timex or Timu, buy the Timex. If you're getting into watches, buy the Timex. If you're going traveling, you don't want to wear your expensive Rolex, buy the Timex. Even if you know nothing about watches, buy the Timex. Also, there's quite a few groups on Facebook for Timex collectors. I would give them a look. They're quite cool. I, I'm on them quite a bit. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.